hello friends welcome to our channel so in case if you are new to our channel so please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will be getting the notification the moment i upload the new videos so friends in this video we are going to discuss about some mcq questions in java arise so before getting into this mcq declaration so first of all we have to understand the difference between arise in case of java as well as c programming in case of c programming c or c plus program so arise are data types so which mean it is going to allocate a memory during compilation time itself in case of c or c++ programming so that's why in c programming how we are declaring the array so we will declare the array int for example let me take a integer array int some array name within square bracket i will be specifying the size so while declaring the array i will be specifying the size yes coming to c or c++ programming it has to allocate a memory for array during compilation time itself because of data type so this is about your c programming arrays so finally coming to c programming arrays are data type so that will allocate a memory during compilation time itself so that's why while declaring the array itself we will be specifying the size for example you will say int some array name square bracket you will be specifying the size in case of c programming but coming to java so array is a not a data type coming to java array is a object and object will take a memory during run time so finally coming to java arrays are not a data type it's a object which means during run time only it will allocate a memory so hope we are clear about this uh, different between c programming and java in case of array now let us get into that code so we'll, we'll look at our first question so the first question is asking what are the which of the followings are valid array declaration in java just now we have discussed that coming to our java arrays are object so which means during compilation time i cannot allocate the memory which means line number 2 and line number 4 it's not a correct declaration in case of java right so finally line number 2 and line number 4 both are wrong yes i'm i'm trying to allocate a memory during compilation time but in case of java it is not possible we are coming to java array is a object i have to allocate a memory during run time so which mean option 1 sorry uh, line number 1 and line number 3 both may be the correct answer let us see what are the possible way to create a array in java so we have actually three kind of syntax to create a arrays in java so the line number 1 is first way so in case of line number 1 what i am trying to do i am declaring a array reference so please mark my word it is a reference it's not a variable yes array is a object so in the line number 1 i am declaring a array reference also i am initializing the values so this is one way of array declaration in java so then how it is allocating the memory it is based on the number of elements so i have three elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 so the array size will be 3 during run time based on the number of elements it is going to allocate the memory so finally first one is a valid array declaration and this is the first way of declaring array 
and the second one is line number 3 this is also a valid array declaration so in case of line number 3 what I am doing I am allocating an array memory by using or explicitly I am using a keyword name in case of line number 1 with the help of these values it is allocating a memory during runtime but in case of line number 3 by using new keyword manually I am going to tell how many memory I want so finally in case of line number 3 it is going to create an array object with 3 memory space I mean continuous memory space so which means I can hold 3 values into this array and another point is in case of first one first line number one it is allocating three memory and initializing the values the first memory will be one and the second memory will be two and the third memory value will be three but what about line number three declaration it is allocating the memory but i haven't initialized any values in that case it will be taking the default value of this array type for example this is an integer array and the default value is 0 so finally all the three values will be 0 in case of line number 3 so finally these two are correct answer so line number 1 is the valid array declaration and line number 2 is sorry line number 3 is also valid array declaration so finally option a will be the correct answer so in the next program we will be discussing one more way to create an array in java so this is the first way line number one is the first way of array creation in java and this is the second way of array declaration or array creation in java in the next program so we will see one more way so this is also a valid array declaration so you can look at the declaration of this array it is combination of wave 1 and wave 2 i am going to declare the array and i am going to allocate the memory by using new keyword but i am not specifying the size over here how it is going to specify uh, take the uh, memory size or size of the array it is based on the number of values i am allocating memory by using new keyword and immediately I have, in that line itself i am initializing the array elements so finally how many elements i am initializing i am initializing one two three nothing but three elements finally uh, in case of first line it will be creating a array with three memory space first memory will be one second memory value will be two and the third memory value will be three so finally these are the three ways to declare an array in java right now let us predict the output so finally this line will not give any compile time error we have this also a valid array declaration in java so i'm trying to display the value of array of one so we are already familiar in case of c or c plus in java also array index will start from zero so i'm trying to display the value of array by using index value one so at one index i will be getting as per the score i have a value two so finally this line will display so finally option A is the correct answer. So hope it's clear uh, friends about all the three ways of array declaration in Java. So now we'll move the next question. So coming to the next question we have to keep one point in our mind array is an object 
now let us look at the code and easily you can predict the answer in the first line i mean in this particular line i am declaring and initializing the array with three elements right so which mean a reference a is pointing a object 10 20 30 so 10 20 30 may be a separate value but it will become a single object and this entire object this entire 10 20 30 object is pointing by a reference called a and i am declaring one more array reference p so now what i am trying to i am assigning the value of or the content of object a to b so in our previous videos i hope you remember in case of string we have discussed uh, the assignment so because of assignment operator so we know that it is not going to make a clone it is going to point the same memory so finally because of this assignment uh, maybe in case if you didn't watch the uh, string videos maybe you can watch the video so that you will be understanding uh, this assignment operator in case of object so the content is same 10 20 30 is a single object 10 20 30 is a single object and it is pointed by a reference a and because of this assignment b is also going to point the same object so which means i have an object 10 20 30 it is pointed by two reference A as well as B because of assignment operator. Also, it is an object. Yes, you know that array is an object in Java. So now I am trying to display the value of B of 2. So now B is pointing what? 10, 20, 30. I mean B and A both are pointing 10, 20, 30 array. So B of 2 will display. 20 so finally sorry b of 2 we know that index will start from 0 so b of 2 in the sense index 0 is 10 index 1 is 20 and index 2 is 30 so finally b of 2 will display 30 i mean option a is the right answer So we'll move the next question. So this question is already we have discussed in our first question. So I think easily you can predict the output. So now this is the second way of declaring an array in Java. Explicitly, I'm using a keyword new. I'm initialize, sorry, I'm creating an array with five size which means it will take five memory it will allocate five memory space i'm just allocating a memory but i haven't initialized any values so which means by default it will be taking the value based on the data type so what is the default value of int is zero so finally all the five array elements will fill with zero and I'm trying to display the zeroth index value. All, all the values are already zero, which means zeroth index of value also will be zero. So finally, it will be printing zero as a result. So finally, option A is the correct answer. So hope it's clear, friends. So in our next video also, we will be discussing uh, some more uh, MCQ questions from Array Concept. So thanks friends for watching this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe and you can share it with your friends.